are trying to do okay, what we so can for the community and, and, we're, and giving our aspiring and emerging artists a venue to show their art. You know, fulfills our mission, works with our mission to uh, promote the LGBT community in Central Virginia. You know, I actually began this by accident. I was doing some decorative painting for a favorite client of mine. I'd done quite a bit of work for her, and she was interested in having some fabric work done. Um, she couldn't make a decision on some decorative painting. So I kind of explored the concept. I ended up in nice fabrics to work with, and I thought I'd probably just stretch them across canvas frames or something. And um, in that quilt store, Quilting Adventures, that particular weekend, was a woman from upstate New York who was here teaching classes just for a long weekend and she had these wonderful works hanging on the walls of the classroom with all these spirals in them created by yarn. And I was fascinated with them. Well, she was teaching that class on Monday, so I said, sign me up. And I learned to do it and um, it just really kind of became addictive for me. I really am into the spirals. It's really meditative to me. I kind of get lost in them and I love the way that once I have a piece quilted um, which would be kind of a finished product on its own then I get to layer different textures and different colors all upon that and just build and build and build with um, lots of different um, just colors and textures dancing together to create what we've got at the end. Um, the hard part a lot of times is knowing exactly when to quit, <laughs> but um, I really do get carried away.